Hey everyone, it's Dave here. Welcome to Monkey Do Overview. I don't know if this release is necessarily in a good taste, because we'll be throwing shit at people as monkeys, and that's supposed to be haha funny. <laughs> but I mean, every developer to its own concept, like, do what you want, unless Meta says otherwise, since it's a graduation situation today. <laughs> so, Monkey Do is a swinging combat game where you're gonna be exploring a variety of vine and jungle environments to meet up with other creatures of your kind, swing around and throw poop at everything that moves. I swear I saw this art style somewhere, but I'm not sure if it was the Tarzan experience or something even worse, like it's very heavy on the eyes, literally transporting you to a completely different world. Like I mentioned, it's coming from App Lab, so that's something to think about because I don't see this game going in a long-term scenario, unless it has a really polished mechanics going on, cause currently there's some big competition going on in the same genre, so it really has to stand out on its own. Technically it's explained what's the point of the game, but for me it doesn't necessarily translate through the trailer, but I suppose the goal is to defeat the players or enemy AI to achieve victory, but nothing really besides that. At first it might be a a lot to take in so I'll keep my cool for now and judge what's happening inside this whole thing. <laughs> Let's go swing around in the jungle. For years we've studied the beautiful islands within the Bermuda Triangle. I can't yet explain it but the indigenous rubies of the islands possess a mythical power. We've discovered that the native primates have learned how to harness this energy. I was hired by Congo to observe, but I learned their true intent. Their ignorance and greed led to disaster. <laughs> Since that horrible day, the monkeys have acted quite strange. They began worshipping specimen B. In exchange for bananas, Bongo gives them enchanted monkey merch. He eats so many bananas, I think, to hide his guilt. <laughs> they just keep playing his monkey games. I don't think that they realize Congo will return. And even worse, I have no idea what happened to Specimen X. <laughs> wow. So I'm a monkey, I'm assuming. <laughs> Do we have smooth turning though? Seems to be fine. Oh no, not gorilla attack mechanics. I mean, what did I expect? I mean, it is intuitive. Much like out of hand was, so... It's not that terrible. <laughs> That's about this movement, like I have no control over it. If you're not like a pro. Oh. I mean, this is very handy, but how does that relate to being a monkey? So I wouldn't say the resolution is crazy, even for the stylized world like that. It is all unique textures though, so... 
I can't be mad about it, although it is a bit bloody in terms of quality. So I'm only collecting with my hands, not with my body. games like that I don't really feel comfortable although this one kinda offers you more mechanics if you are not really well versed in that movement vibe Because that's realistic for a uh, jungle. Whoa, whoa, it can be intense. Well, I use it. Oh my god! This is not that easy. I can't believe I made it. That's a terrible 360. And there's like different textures going on, like all around visuals, flying clouds that are blurry, and this here. So it's not consistent. That is the favorite part. I like this. Reach down near your rear. Why? <laughs> like I don't understand the philosophy here. Ew. And the game was cute and all. <laughs> to make it extra smelly. <laughs> like, even the... Position is just so weird.
<laughs> How the game can be charming and disgusting at the same time. So I guess it's a nice training for me to get to know the mechanics. My legs are like shaking because of the locomotion intensity. It is definitely a situation of easy to learn, hard to master. But I don't know if it's something to really master. <laughs> That does not seem to be apparent how to aim. So I think this is a dev match type of situation. Damn it, I'm a ghost. I'm a I'm a just I'm not just what this you know what you know what this reminds me of shooting time. I can't shoot right now. Even in the first place, why do I I'm sure you so like I'm killing you. Come try me. I can't. I'm, I'm a ghost. I'm a ghost. I'm a ghost. I don't know what's going on, but it's kind of intense. Who la la. This is kinda big. Like this game really goes for large environments and just a lot of stuff going on at once. I'm in the kids of the garden. And now we have peace and quiet. But I'm still kinda confused what's really the point of the game. The only guidance I had was this introductionary video that I'm not sure if it passed through the recording or not. Like we collect bananas. for this dude here. Oh my god. <laughs> for cosmetics and just like, you know, stuff. Ew. But other than that, I don't really know what's happening. <laughs> I would say that for something that's free, this is actually really solid in terms of the mechanics concept, I don't know, because it's still a bit blurry, but I definitely see the appeal in terms of juice. Of course, Gorilla Attack, like, not clone, but this is like an enhanced version of the mechanics and features. I would say now here, the resolution is very apparently bad. Like it's just grainy and attacking my eyes. Which is weird because for this kind of style of the artwork, 
it should be like very clear and transparent. The game is definitely not for me, although it should speak with what it has and it's very interesting to see that I'm just discovered it now and know of its existence.